Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morse, and today I'm getting into some more Linux Terminal 101. Last week, we started checking out expansions, what they mean, how they work, how the shell sees it, and how it executes them, all that business. This week, I wanted to touch on a few extra expansion commands that you can use and experiment with. This week, we're checking out Brace Expansion. Bracing can make several text strings out of one pattern with braces around them. Oh, very interesting. And this isn't those crappy kind of braces that you had to wear in middle school. I had to wear those. Hopefully there's not pictures. So let's try this first one for an example. Echo, number, underscore. Then add in your brace, one through five, and this should create a pattern. There you go, number, underscore, one, and then all the way up to number, underscore, five. I can also do the same thing with letters. Z, A, and I don't have to add any kind of command at the beginning of it, any kind of wording. I can just do echo Z through A inside the brackets, and, it, and then nest expansions by doing something like this, for example. I can do echo A, A12, then do a B, a three and a four, of course, you could do anything in between these brackets if you wanted to. You didn't have to do exactly these. And this should give me, there you go. Looks kind of like hex or something. This can be useful if you need to make a list of all sorts of files. Say, if you had like a large collection of photos that you needed to list, or if you need to list a series of directories. If you had a bunch of photos in a directory and you called those something like 2009 slash dash one, all the way up to 2011-12 for all the different months and the different years that you have have saved up over the years which kind of looks kind of like my photo directory it's really disorganized at the moment you could list these directories by typing in something like this mkdir make directory and then 2009 all the way up to 2011 you attack zero and your one through nine with the bracket closing. Then after that, also include 2009 all the way up to 11 with the brackets closed and another tack to create 10 through 12 at the end. And that'll make brand new directories for all of your file photos and then you can type ls and you see that I just created a crap load of directories in my home folder. Oh boy, that's going to be really fun to delete all of those. So you can also expand parameters, but this is usually more useful with, say, shell scripts. For example, if I type in something like, let's clear all these, and I'll type in echo user, it tells me you're echoing snubs to show you your username. You can also type in print env with a pipeline, less, and this shows you a list of all sorts of available variables. Normally with expansion, if you mistype something while you're giving a command, you'll notice that it echoes the mistype pattern. Yeah, that does no good. But if you mistype a command while doing a parameter expansion, it's gonna give you a blank string. Hmm, interesting. Now the output of a command is also can also be used as an expansion. You could do something like this example. Put out of here, clear that. Echo, dollar sign, and it gives you a nice long list. I can also do something like echo, uh, excuse me, ls tech l, and add the dollar sign which cp, and that will show us the results of which cp. It's an argument to the ls command. This will let us see the cp program without the path name being known. That's very handy in the future. Here's an example of using pipelines with expansions as well. Now I've already used a couple, but this is a pretty decent example. So I could type in file, the dollar sign, and then type in ls slash usr slash bin, of course, one of my favorites, and then use that pipeline and use grep zip, which we learned about a week ago. Close that parentheses and you get 
There you go. So the pipeline became the argument list of the file command. And if you really feel like showing off, you can use this really old school technique that looks kind of like this. LS tack L, and then you use the backwards apostrophe, which CP, <laughs> I think that's what it's called, you press enter, and you get pretty much the same thing without all of the typing. Much, much more useful. Now that you know so much about expansions and how they're used, you can see how this will be very useful once you get more advanced with the terminal. Now make sure to email me tips at hack5.org with your thoughts, or you can comment below and be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your techno -less.